one came in through text. It says this, how does the theistic evolution theory explain the discrepancy between the Bible saying Adam was created from dust and God's image and evolution saying man evolved from monkeys? Okay. Well, the discrepancy would be answered in I'm not saying I'm holding to this, but that the Genesis account of creation is a poetic understanding. It's not stating that is scientifically what happened. Right. So, so if that's accurate, if that understanding of Genesis is true, then what you have an Adam coming from dust, because somebody goes, well, I don't want to claim I came from monkey. Well, you came from dirt then. <laughs> you feel better? Um, so anyway, um, again, please don't misunderstand what I'm saying, but I am saying that there's not a discrepancy there if you interpret Genesis in this more poetic way than a chronology of historical events. All right, so just to clarify, um, if, if someone's going with a theistic evolution approach, more than likely they're more less literal, more yes. allegorical. Yes. So there's, there's, more, there's more room there. Yeah, and it's, it's not necessarily even that would not be considered, I don't think, necessarily allegory. It's basically saying there is a, a poetic kind of uh, explanation of what's happening. Okay. 